Hello, everyone. Welcome. We are finally getting back to do another game night. I did explain away the reason for why uh, the previous game night did not happen. For you, Storm, so... You know, I explained on my stream, like... Here's why, you know, this week's one hadn't happened yet. That makes sense? Yeah. Man, it's only been like a couple hours since I did my last stream. Like, I did a uh, stream day. It's only been a couple hours since. Oh, right. Uh, ooh. Shit. Okay. This is good. Too bad we don't have emeralds. We ended up getting a watering trader. He's got some good shit. Too bad we don't have emeralds. Oh, so I've gotten my uh, stuff exported onto YouTube. I'm starting to get my uh, stuff moved over to there now, my VODs. Nice. What, what's absolutely hilarious is some of my GeoGuessr games because I've gotten like sick and tired of GeoGuessr after like two hours on a lot. A lot of these, I ended up uh, having some of those, like, they're already fucking finished their uploading. I started Assassin's Creed Syndicate recently. I know, uh, XR told, told me, and we talked about that on stream, on one of my streams. <coughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Uh Tell you about the locomotive that he identified that's four years early. Uh huh. He did indeed. Okay, I'm trying to find sticks. Dang, my frames are terrible right now. No shit. Uh, uh yours are too? Yeah, give, maybe give it a bit of time. It's not too bad, but, like, what's your frames resting at right now? Around three or four. What the fuck? Is that usual for you? Uh, generally it'll sit around three or four for a tiny bit, but not as long as it has. Oh my fuck, man. Okay, now it's hovering around, like, seven to eleven. <laughs> a little more playable now. Man, we need to fucking get some better shit for you. Like, damn. Yeah, I know. So what's weird about Assassin's Creed Syndicate on my computer? Mm -hmm. Like, it runs slow, but it also runs way more smoothly than Unity does. It's actually kind of funny. Like, it runs slow and at kind of a lowish frame rate, but it still runs smoother than Unity. Okay. Uh. Ash, I'm 60. Why? I, I'm sorry, why? Do you have chat open, Storm? Not at the moment. I can pull it up. So. Uh. Ashem60 literally put in chat, I am gay. Okay. Okay. That's alright. I don't see why you need to put that in chat. Alright, whatever. I I'm just gonna kind of like ignore it. It's like, okay. Random thing put in chat. Okay, sure. Just, just gonna ignore it. It's like, I don't... Don't get me wrong, it's like, yeah, sure, I've, I've got no problem with you, man, but I just don't see the reason why you need to, like, throw that in chat. You know, it's like... Okay, I have chat up on my phone now. Yeah. Yeah, I just... I don't understand why, why he felt the need to, like, tell us, like, okay, sure, cool, dude. You're gay, okay, that's cool. Yes. Now I'm hovering around 20 FPS. Okay, that's not... That's not great, but it's not too bad. It's not awful. It's what I normally play at. 
become this version of Minecraft. Oh, jeez. Have you tried uh, 1.19 yet? Um, no. I've been praying that like fucking crazy recently. So, uh... Have you fought the one? No. Okay. I literally am, uh, like, my base... I'm, like, basing at Y11 as a dwarf. Like, I'm, I'm literally... That's my base. Like, I'm at Y11, and I'm building my small little kind of kingdom at Y11. The and... other day, a friend of mine invited me to a D&D &D group, and we did session zero for it. Oh, cool. But we're going to be doing two different campaigns so that the people who wanted to DM don't get burned out. Mm -hmm. And we'll alternate between the campaigns. Interesting. I just thought it was really funny that I was allowed to be a gnome barbarian with a nobleman's background. No, it makes perfect sense. I was a half-elf rogue with a uh, nobleman's background. Do you know how many fucking languages I knew? Not many. I knew like, uh, what is it? Uh, I knew the drogue one, which is, uh, Fees Cant. Then I knew, uh, Elven and Common from being a half-elf. Then because I was a nobleman, I knew like, uh, Dwarvish. I think I might have known Goblin or something like that. I knew like six or seven different languages. It was so fucking funny. But I I really kind of want to get back into D&D. Like, I had so much fucking fun. Have I ever told you about the story of what, how one of my guys who was a uh, barbarian bitch slapped a pixie? Okay. It was the funniest shit. Like, the description of what was happening was, like, the funniest damn description. The DM, who is... Really good DM. What? I left... I kind of left the last session, like, not the greatest, like... And I so totally wish I could have, like, apologized for some of the behavior that I had at that session. It was not the greatest behavior in the world, and I so wish I could have apologized for it. But pandemic began, and two years later, never fucking happening. So... Why don't you just reach out to him and apologize for it? Uh, I don't have his number or anything like that, so I can't. I literally only know the DM's name and that's it. I don't even know if that's his name or his nickname. So, yeah. It's like, I would totally reach out to him, but I can't. I literally have no way of reaching out to him. But, yeah, we pretty much, uh, the final, uh, part we did of our campaign was fucking hilarious in that we actually, uh, what was it, uh, we finished off by, what was it, we, uh, oh, jeez, we, uh, had taken on a, uh, nest of kobolds. Okay. And it was, like, this abandoned farm that had been turned into a nest. And, like, we were, what, uh, six guys who split into, like, two or three different fucking groups. And we literally got told by the DMs, like, I, I seriously thought you were all going to die. I seriously thought we were going to have a party wipe. I was like, what, really? And he just goes, like, okay, you guys don't get it. The last time I ran the, I've ran this one for two different groups. Every fucking time, it has wiped every party that has run it. There you go. Thank you. Oh, you're trying to get the end site then? Yeah, so we can finish the walls in the storage room. Actually, oh, yeah, I forgot. It's going to be the storage room. I forgot, okay? Look, it, <laughs> I'm kind of having the difference between my single-player stream world and game night stream world, so... uh. You know, the game night server and, like, my solo world, I'm having to, like, go bounce between so I don't fucking remember every last detail. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's like, 
there was so much like funny shit like we you know like one of the uh one of the things like pretty much it was like my uncle and his you know his kids said oh yeah we'll try out D D." and his uh kids friends you know tried out D. It's like his stepkids, you know, were trying out D and D, and it's like, yeah, I, he's pretty much like, hey, is uh, Jen still interested in trying out D and D? Yeah. Well, you're welcome to come and try it out, bus. It's like, oh hell yes. We were going to have like another guy. He was supposed to have been the rogue, but he was not able to make it to any of them. Like he was no longer able to participate. So I was like, I pretty much got told by my uncle, I was like, it's really good you're going rogue. The, as a rogue, because we would have had no rogue. Like, we had a barbarian, a cleric, a fighter, fighter, fighter. I think, like, the only... It's like, everybody was fighter besides a dwarven cleric, a human barbarian, and a half-elf rogue. Uh. But it was like so, so fucking. St there was so much stupid shit that happened in that campaign. Uh. So, when we were doing our session zero the other day, mm -hmm. um, they had us design a character for each campaign. Mm. I've got the, I've got the um, so I've got the barbarian that I told you about. Mm -hmm. Who, by the way, carries a sword that's twice his size. <laughs> Were you going to be an elf? Like, I remember when, like, one of the times when, like, the D&D &D campaign I did, you were going to be with us, but that just never happened. And you yeah. were going to be, what What was it, like, uh, some sort of type of elven? I think I was going to be, like, a dark uh, elf wizard or something. Yeah, you were going to be, wizard. like, yeah, uh, some sort of elven wizard. And it was going to be, like, real, really cool and, like... Considering we were in the swamp, it was would have been like the best fucking character to have in that campaign, because you would have known fucking shape Earth to help deal with the fucking swamp. So, are, are you actually going with another wizard? No. Oh, the what'd you go for? Is, the other one is a halfling rogue that I'm gonna build as an archer. Ah, uh, yes, the halfling. When you don't like your luck, you just re-roll it. What what's the fucking thing? Uh, the racist rap. What is it? Um, all the races. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I've listened to that shit so fucking much because it's so good. Uh, it's D and D races rap. That's Never like heard about... it. Okay, it's from Joe Cat. It's about like all the races of D and D. Uh, Avocado, you're just a big fucking bird. Big fucking bird is like all there is. Uh, ASMR for when you want to flap your wings. Actually, uh, there was like so much fucking shit. Oh man, but it was a really that was like a really good, really really good cover that gave you like a really good to fucking description of all the races. Uh, was it ASMR? I think are literally just like. Fallen Angels, pretty much. Okay. We got it. Let's go. There was, like, so much stupid shit. I I really want to get back into D&D. &D. So, uh, are you going to buy, like, any of the manuals for it? They said to wait to buy the manuals until I was able to get my own group started, if I ever did. Because two of the, both of the people who are going to be DMing have their own man, have manuals that they're going to be supplying for us. Okay. I did, however, buy a set of dice. Oh, of course you always need dice. Uh, what's funny is I actually own the player's handbook. I think I knew that, actually. Yeah, I pretty much was able to get, uh, I own the player's handbook, I own the campaign book for Horde of the Dragon Queen, and I own the start, uh, starter pack as well. 
the original starter pack that had like uh, the starter adventure, some dice and like all that, and not the fucking starter pack with the goddamn figures, which is apparently a fang now. Yeah, it's like I I would totally be totally want to get back into doing D and D. Like you have some characters set up that you'd be okay with using. If you want to come with me on Tuesday to do it with my friend, I can just what let time? Him know you're coming. I think we're starting at around six thirty, and we're gonna go for about three hours. Uh, I might actually. I would ask that you check with your friend first to make sure that it's okay. You know what I mean? I, I can ask him and let you know. If he says it's okay, I... Oh. You should ask him if it's okay if I take my uh, character sheet from D&D &D Beyond. Because that's how I used... Uh, that's how we made our character sheets for our campaign. Because I'm just literally... D&D Beyond is how we made my, the, the sheets for my characters too, actually. Oh, so did you guys use the like free version? Or did they have like some paid stuff um we made them on one of the d uh, on the computer for one of the dms and he's gonna send them to me so i can put them into my user on D, &D beyond okay i actually had i think i still have my fucking guy set up on D, &D beyond let me take a look hmm. you're gonna need a character for each campaign Unless you want to use the same character for both. Uh. I would ask if it's like. Uh, I think I actually have. I can always make another character as well. Characters. Let me see. Nice star. Nice star. Fuck, I don't have him. Uh, I can always recreate him. I have the... Oh my gosh, I have your high elf still. You could use him. I'm totally going to like, fucking mess around with Pharaoh. Because this, this fucker was actually kind of cool. From what I remember, he was actually really, really cool. Sorry, I'm like going through, uh, let me edit, see what the fuck all the stuff was for him. Next, uh, yeah. Cantrip, Mulder, yeah. Being a high elf, we had Mulder selected. Wizard, 11, oh yeah, I remember that. That was really, that's a really good one. Uh, yeah, we went with the sage background. Draconic and Sylvian. Why was it Sylvian? I haven't the slightest, dude. That was forever ago. Yes, to be fair, it was two years ago. Sylvian. I'm actually going to look this up really quick. D&D. &D. Okay, uh... Oh, okay, it's the Fey language. Okay. Or to the precursor, sir, to many, to the many dialects of Elvish. Ah, okay. So it's Fey, Draconic and Fey, huh? All right, not bad. Interesting. I wonder what led me to choose that. I. I think from what I remember, I actually did consult my uncle on, like, a lot of it, and pretty much when I was like, oh, yeah, do you think, like, this sounds good? And he pretty much went for some of it and was like, whoa, hold on. This is fine. It's odd, but fine, but you'd be more likely to get, you know, this would be a lot easier to use. Like, oh, okay.
Uh, I forgot I have a Tiefling Warlock. Don't get me wrong, I like the Tiefling Warlock, but, uh, no. I do not feel like playing that. I need to, like, I'm going to actually really quick, like, I know, I apologize, so, like, uh, did not mean to open that. Fuck. Whatever. Uh, do I still have D&D Beyond on my fucking phone? I do. Sweet. Okay. Uh, right, I was going to recreate my, uh, guy. Standard, you know. <laughs> You could do that later. What's that? You think you could do that later? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Just so you know, we're starting the campaign at, I think, level 2. Level 2? Oh. Yeah, we're okay. starting the campaigns at level 2. Got it. That's actually very good to know. Uh, I'll have to increase their levels. I will probably have to ask for, like, help for some of that shit, definitely. Because I don't know how to use some of that. Well, my ride to it is one of the guys who's going to be DMing. Oh, okay, so... Well, so he, and he's probably going to be there as early as he can. Yeah. That's a fair, fair point. You want to give me some more andesite? Uh, I'm out of andesite, sorry. Oh, you used all yours? Yes. We did pretty good. Yes, we did. Yeah, I just kind of want to apologize. Like, I, I'm, like, super fucking stoked now because, like, oh, I could potentially be doing D&D again. I'm fucking stoked. Oh, do you know how often that would be? Um, we're do I think we're doing it every week. But each week we're going to be doing a campaign from a different one of the DMs. Ah, okay. Ooh, are these, uh, custom campaigns or, like... I think they're custom campaigns, yeah. Hmm. I was about to say, if they're official campaigns, I might be able to find the um, source books or the official campaigns. It's funny as fuck, but um, I don't really talk about this, but it is very easy like to find these fucking like D and D books cracked on the internet. If you know what I mean, like you can find these fuckers cracked on the internet and just like view the fucking PDF on the on Google. Trust me, I know it's possible because I've done it before. Cool. All right, I'm going... Practically everything on the... You can find practically anything on the internet. True. There's a thing on ModDB that is literally just the soundtrack for Battlefield 1942. I will... Uh, I'll bring my player's handbook with me. Because I always bring my fucking player's handbook with me. But I'll make sure to bring that with me. That's if, you know, I'm allowed to join. I will ask him, but um, I don't think he'll have a problem with it. Yay. I'm actually really happy to be able to potentially be doing D&D again. Like, it was so, it was like so fun. It was like some of like the funnest things I'd ever done. Cool, I need to make more pickaxes. <laughs> I'm on my last one at the moment. Okay, I'll make you some as well. But, uh, yeah. I'm definitely going to be running my, uh, half-elf rogue again. And I have no problem running a high-elf, uh, wizard. That sounds actually, like, really fucking fun. All right, I have two pickaxes for you. Oh, I found more andesite right under us. 
Here, throw me the pecs and I'll uh, and I'll gather the andesite. Oh, that's a fair point. Are you giving me iron? Yes, we have a fuck ton of iron because of X. I guess. Oh man, I, I didn't. Was expecting stone. Oh. Well, we have a fuck ton of iron right now. So. I think we need to preserve it. No. I'm going to be getting villagers. I'm going to be making a villager breeder today. Okay, and then, you do that then. And then... You do that while I finish the storage room. Okay. You know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to make the villager breeder, and if we have time tonight, I'm going to make uh, some... Um, uh, da, 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 da. Brain, please function. Uh... Uh, iron farm, if possible. Doubt it. We're, doubt we're gonna have enough time, but... Mm. I actually have a villager breeder up in my fucking, uh... Solo stream world. Recently, I've begun digging down all the way from, uh, top level. All the way down to bedrock. And a entire chunk. We they need to... try and build something to world height. I might... We need sleep. Oh, Jesus. First time ever sleeping, apparently. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's okay, yeah. But... So, you're running... Bar so, a barbarian gnome. A gnome, ba a noble background... Gnome Barbarian with a great sword and two hand axes. Okay, in that campaign, I want to play a uh, noble back, my noble background half elf. And da da da, I want to be friends with you. Like we have some sort of relation due to our noble backgrounds. Does that sound awesome? Sure, let's try it. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I need to get the seed again. Ah, shit. Just reconnect. Do, da, do, da, do, da, do, da, do, do, da, 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 Oh, yeah, 304, my, positive 304, minus 304. Cool. All right. Uh, positive 304, minus 304. Perfect. That's where I'm going. Okay. And 130, 310. One thirty. Ray ten. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a bit of a bitch. Okay, done. Do I have to go past the desert? Yes, I do. Okay. I guess that wasn't my last stone pack. <laughs> I thought it was. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Turn the light over way off. How close to... Oh, I can use the river to get back. Oh, that's going to be so nice. Yay! I can actually just like follow this fucking rib. 
the amazing part, I can actually follow this river and it will actually lead me to where I need to go. Interesting. Salmon died. Hmm. Ooh, this river gets pretty small and tight at times, and uh, it's not fully complete, even though it's a biome. All right, uh, dig, Let me dig this batch out. I think it might be fun to try and build a custom bayou in a nearby swamp biome. Uh, okay, so the only nearby swamp biomes will actually turn into mangrove biomes in 1.19, if we leave them. Alright, then we can turn a mangrove into a bayou. They're decently similar. The mangrove would probably actually be fucking easier to turn into a bayou. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> so we'd have to make some custom enormous trees. That might be an interesting exercise. It definitely will be. I forgot it really is on the fucking water itself. Oh, that makes this shit so easy. Nice. Okay. You. Ha! Villager number one. Captured. Returning to base. Yay! Oh, the nice thing about basing at Y11 and having my villager breeder at Y11. It was actually pretty fucking simple to uh, get these guys down there. Because uh, I, I actually had part of my stairway. I've literally dug from the river to my stairway and made a little kind of like landing platform on this river. Like on the river itself. And it's like, okay, we now are there. We're now, you know, at my staircase. And I can flood my staircase down. And it pushes them all the way down to the bottom. It was so fucking simple to transport them. I struggled for like 10, 20 minutes maybe to get like the first guy down. And then I accidentally fucking cooked my water bucket. And it's like, oh, oh, this that works so well. 30 times easier. Yeah, exactly. But I had to like make like cross through and dig so like two kind of like oceans intersected each other. And it was okay. a pain in the fucking ass to do all that digging. Because there was like no uh water connections for the thing I had to do, so I had to like dig a two block, you know, uh three high, two wide tunnel uh mountain. To be able to make this intersection. It was so fucking stupid. Okay. Uh, question. Do we want the villager breeder above ground or underground? And we compromise and put it in one of these... Um... And put it in this, um... Ah, what's the word? Ravine? I count that as underground. Let's put it in the ravine. Are you telling me that you want to fully cover up the, uh, thing? Okay, so you want it on base, on our level of our base, huh? You want to be able yes. to walk from our base to it. Okay. Then say that, dude. <laughs> I'm scatterbrained. Okay. Okay, either way, you want to help me uh, get this guy here? Uh, how would I 
Is I'll that an it. XR? Yeah. I think that is X. Yes, it is. Are you gonna monitor the chat? Yeah. Let me load it up. I doubt you're gonna get on Minecraft with us, cause yeah, work. Yeah, I've just been pushing carts all day, super grindy. <laughs> So what kind of project is being worked on here? I'm um, he's closing the villager breeder. Yes, I'm closing the villager. I'm finishing off the wall and the um. Before you, room. before you wonder X, I'm going to show on stream where it is going to be, or at least a general area. It's going to generally be connected to our base around here somewhere. Is there a possibility? So, just throwing this out there is something I can maybe work on another time. But like, I thought I ha I'm just having a thought right now. Maybe we could build the trading hall at the bottom of that ravine, and you could let me decorate it. Theoretically, we could do that. No issue. So we'll okay. We'll throw the uh. So we're going to have it in the ravine, the the villager breeder. So let's say we uh throw the trading hall below, nearby. Okay. Ooh. 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 No. 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 I know where I want. I know where I want a trading hall. That big ass cavern. You remember the cavern light up raid? Yeah. Big ass cavern. That's gonna have the trading hall. Yes. I'm down for that, and then I can decorate it like kind of some kind of underground fortress type of thing. Yes. Okay, uh, get ready by I the would beds. I be down for that style of build. Okay. Oh, uh, so, X, you did not see what I did earlier, uh, a couple hours earlier on my uh, solo world, my solo stream world. I'm digging out one of my trunks all the way from the top all the way to bedrock because it's a slime chunk oh boy you found a slime nice i did not find a slime i've looked up a, it on uh the seed checker ah. all right just like rapidly you know hold down right click on a bed oh you did not you did not see what happened earlier x we had someone come in and all they said was i am gay and that's it oh i see it i see it in the chat actually ah Okay, so now we have that. Okay, I'm going to grab our villager. So for now, for now he's going to like, uh, we're going to have to build him like an area. So where do you want to build the area to temporarily store this villager? So my suggestion is we try to do it in a place so that we can we can just break a block that he might be under to shove him into the breeder. Like just build him put the put him in a thing, trap him there, and potentially later just drop him from there into the breeder. Hmm. That's gonna be a lot more work. I mean, I, I think I see what he's saying. Um, I saying see what he's build, saying. Build a cage that's just big enough to hold him and then just build the breeder right underneath of it so that you can just break the block and drop him in. Yeah. Okay. Free by free. Okay. Yeah. So that is the uh, correct height for this uh, passage. I'm going to make the passage for this really quick. Did you get more andesite? No, this is the andesite that I broke out. So, it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh... Pop. Pop. 
Oh, yeah. Do you mind clearing out the uh, pointed dripstone? Oh, did you hear me hurting myself on it on purpose? I didn't realize you were doing it on purpose. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> Uh, you guys are hilarious together. Thank you. Thank you very much. We shall be taking this show on the road for D and D. Storm's going to talk to his uh, DM or to his group and uh, see whether or not I'll be able to come in for D and D. Ooh. Storm is a very good friend. But if I'm allowed to, it's going to be so fucking fun. Rogue and Barbarian. This will be interesting. It's not exactly the Rogue and Bard dynamic you hear about, but it will be a very fun dynamic nonetheless. Um, I had I had a dynamic between my fighter character and a rogue character at one point that was really funny. Like, the character I was playing was supposed to be, like, super stuck up, full of himself type of thing, where he's like... Like, the character flaw he rolled out was... I speak slowly to idiots, which everyone is, except me. Uh, uh, I think one of the flaws I had for my uh, rogue was I shame my family with all my, you know, with my every word I shame my family. Like, something like that. With my words, I shame my family. It was, like, my flaw from what I remember. And it was just, like, huh. It was one of the more interesting ones I could have had. Oh, that's sand, not sandstone. That's sandstone. So, okay, I'm like trying to remember how to uh, like go about setting this shit up. Since I just set this up not too long ago. Uh... Here's the passageway for this. And I'll go like this. Uh, so. Uh, I say this should be about the level for this. Okay. This will be the level for... Um, I'm, I realize with what I'm about to do, I'm going to make it kind of hard on X later for moving these guys. But this is how it's going to be. One, two... Three, four. One, two, three, four. I have dealt with moving villages around twice before. I think I'm going to know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know, it's just going to be slightly harder than it could be on you. I'm sorry. You're doing what you can with the setup you already have. Because, um... They're going to be, uh... Kind of dropping out to around there. Okay. So, you're going to have to transport them a bit of a dis- uh, it's, not, it's not too bad. It's not the worst it could be. And we also have rails. Because of the net, you know. Man of mine shafts. So, it will be easier- so, do we want their uh, walled-in stuff to be glass? Okay. One thing I'm gonna we say, you also glass, want to considering that we've gold. got a desert right here. That's what I was asking. All right, what was that? I was gonna say, um, make sure you collect, stock up some gold and redstone, so I can make powered rails for transporting them. Oh yeah, don't worry. I I will do some digging today to get that for you. Don't worry, my friend. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, I, I trust me. I want to make this easy on you for this. Like, we got plenty of rails right now. All that we really need is powered rails. But, you know, that'll be easy enough. Uh, Here's some sand being made into glass. Because, yeah, I'm just, like, thinking of, like, what the fuck we want for walls. Uh, Storm! What did he do? You don't see. No, I did that on purpose. Was it pale about a stalagmite? <laughs> okay, so for all you viewers, I am, I am involved in the chat with them directly, so you can hear me on the stream. But I am also like watching the stream chat 
He is being a good moderator. I'm being a moderator while also involving myself in the stream. Yes, yes. A good description. Uh, I'm gonna use cobblestone to make a stair, because why the fuck not? Okay, this makes me... Uh, I'm like having to... Oh, my stuff blew everywhere around this tower. It always fucking does, you... <laughs> You're a moron. Some of it got some distance, moron. though. <laughs> like I said, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> Maybe he's just doing. I never it denied that. <laughs> Come take a look at the suicide tower. Where the fuck is the suicide tower? Come find me, and you'll find the suicide tower. <laughs> I slightly <laughs> spotted it. I slightly spotted it. And this is, of course, in-game, all this stuff we're talking about. It's in-game. Don't worry. It's in-game. It's not real. Having to say this color my ass. It's not real. Suicide Tower can't actually hurt you. What the fuck? <laughs> Looks like a giant dick. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm laughing too hard at this. <laughs> this is just there. the type of thing Storm would do just to troll you. Okay, uh... Trapdoor... I need wood for a sign... I'm getting endless entertainment from Storm trolling you. It's Storm, if he wasn't yeah, trolling no, me... I you have no idea what I just Either did. Either he's do you? trolling you deliberately or accidentally. No, I don't. There is no in between. Yep. Uh, Either he's accidentally trolling you just by being bad at the game, or he's intentionally trolling you to get your reaction. He's doing it yeah, intentionally. Yeah, there's no in between. Fucker's <laughs> doing it intentionally right now. Because he can. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I need to make. The giant stalagmite, though. <laughs> oh, do you not like the look of it fully grown? Or do you just feel like harvesting it? I'm harvesting it. So that we can use it later. I wasn't as sure. Fuel? That's what I was asking. Yes, as fuel. What else is it good for? Not food. Well, the thing is, you don't use... The thing is, it depends on what you're fueling. If you're fueling a furnace, it's fine. If you're fueling a GT3, uh, what you want is kerosene. Dude! <laughs> There's no GT3 Sorry. in this game. I'm like stuck trying to think. Uh, right. I remember what I was going to do now. Uh, <laughs> trapdoors. I need more trapdoors. This forced locomotive reference brought to you by XR. Yes. All right, okay, so we're going to build, like, all this out of glass, huh? Fuck it, well, yeah. Nice, nice thing about living in a desert is you basically have... if you, you basically have access to infinite glass, and we'll have access to even more infinite glass with the trading hall set up. Oh, I'll have to find how I have missed you in 1.19. Me? I said Optifine. Uh, oh, up to find how I have missed you. <laughs> That's like one of those things, like, don't get me wrong, playing vanilla is like all good and fine, but, you know, there's just but, but something special. What that? Playing with add-ons is optifine. You know what? I will allow that bad pun. <laughs> I will allow it. Because it's actually it actually works, you know it. It's, it's the comedy of truth. Yes, it it works well enough, and I'm not going to thrive it. <laughs> you You're welcome. fucking dimwit! Stupid. You're a fucking <laughs> dimwit. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. You don't need to remind me. Watching Storm be bad at the game is really funny for some stupid reason. We need to sleep. I just remembered. Storm, please don't take that the wrong way. 
No, what was perfect is he just drops right in front of me. He dropped dead in front of me, and it's just like I can see it, and just like you can kind of see in my face, like the the you fucking dimwit. Yes, I know I'm a dimwit. Uh, it was too perfect. Oh, I'm gonna have to um, clip that. Oh. Jim, oh. did you hear the news? What news? Um, I'm getting a table in my room so I can run my trains on a yes, table. Yes, you told me about that the day we talked about conspiracy theories. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so happy that you're getting a table, man. Yeah. Now you just need another. Now you just need a couple of girls so you can really run a train. Oh, shut up! <laughs> That Shut was up. wrong. Guys. That was so fucking wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's referencing a story I told from work. I know, day. I know. Still, uh, are you I sleeping, you dude? Story? Yeah. Like You've I told, told that one on stream. Go home and run trains, and he thought I was talking about like innuendo. <laughs> yeah, you've told that one before on stream. Yeah. <laughs> And now he just brings it up to troll me. Yeah, because it's funny. Storm is a massive troll. <laughs> That's one word for it. <laughs> Knowing you, you would use uh, you would use some kind of word like dick. Ah, actually, no, I was going to use asshole. <laughs> Either one works. <laughs> I use all three of those. <laughs> to describe um, myself. Uh, oh my go. gosh, so the store I work at did a stupid yesterday. Oh no. All right, like, let's it hear it. Use the living shit out of me. Okay, so basically, it's a big store, and there's two entrances. You could say the grocery entrance and the home and pharmacy entrance, right? Yep, I know. So I've been to the store. The, so. lot, the lot on the grocery side oh, is no. being repaved at the moment. Oh boy. Okay, so. Under normal circumstances, the way they operate is the store is open till 11, and then they close the home and pharmacy door at 10. Mm-hmm. We are not in normal circumstances because the grocery side parking lot is being completely repaved, which limits access to that side a huge amount. So we basically have no work to do on... We have hardly any work to do on that side at all. Everything is being done on the home and pharmacy side right now. Well, last night, and apparently according to my sources, my sources being other co-workers, the night before as well, they decided they were going to just do the normal thing and close the home and pharmacy entrance at 10 o'clock. Oh, no. Yeah. I was just so confused by it. Like, what? Why, Why would you, you do that? that? They, they could hardly even get, get in on the grocery, grocery side, side anyway. They're all parking on the home and pharmacy side, so why would you close that side down, force them to go out and walk all the way around? It pissed off a lot of people. It was frankly kind of hilarious. Like, a lot of people complained to me about it. I looked at them and I said, Welcome to Walmart, where common sense flies out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't blame you for that one. I like I I work at my local Walmart. Like here's the thing: most of the people I asked about it said they agreed with me. And tonight we actually didn't technically have a manager in the upfront. Oh no! So the, so the person who was kind of just shoehorned into taking over team lead duties looked at me and said, "We're going to keep that door open as long as the store is open." Good. Because we're actually the because this person is actually smarter than half the team leads. <laughs> I have a wonderful creation up top if you want to see it. Oh, the, oh boy. What? You give me time. To... Would you like to show the audience Storm's wonderful creation? <sighs> give me some time. I I need to <laughs> mentally prepare. Not only prepare. that, I need to grab uh Prepare yourself mentally for whatever this. the monstrosity is. I don't feel like making bread. another one. Oh, I must have picked up your bread and it must be in my stack. Okay. Here. Uh take half. I got thirty two bread. Fuck it, you I only get twenty six. 
Fun and sex will do. Pretty much. It looks like a coin slot. Why does it look like a coin slot? Why does what oh. look like a coin slot? I have on a thing to measure, you know, to show how much is in there. To show the oh, uh, level okay. of it. It's like, a, like a gauge. Okay. Yeah, that's a gauge, pretty much. You're right on that. That's a, it's pretty much a gauge. A gauge. What's a gauge? Put, you should put a glass roof on top of it so that they can We're going to. Life. Don't worry, we're I, going to. I have had a villager breeder completely destroyed by one lightning strike before. It's not fun. <laughs> I'm coming. Don't worry, I'm, I'm coming. I'm just... <laughs> He's just staring at you, anticipating. <laughs> so I want to make that a little bit prettier. Just, I, I'm just not looking forward to this. I know it's going to be so fucking stupid. It's really a reactive reactive reaction. I can't wait to see you. There's reaction. balls on the thing, isn't there? Yep. <laughs> the second he said immature, I knew it was like, it, there's going to be balls on the fucking thing. Why, Storm? Why are you like this? That is so wrong. <laughs> like, what is this? Society what is this? has messed me up, dude. Well, then again, <laughs> no, it was called. going to public high school that fucked you up. Yeah. <laughs> Don't blame society for public high school. Actually, no, do so. Public high school mess. Public high school is messed up. Yeah, that was a horrible monstrosity. <laughs> and you only did it to troll Jin. Like, what, what is this, an anarchy server? No, I'm just a massive troll. Like, seriously, before I, like, saw Hermitcraft or, like, heard about multiplayer Minecraft, that was the first story I heard, is that everybody on just about every server I talked, everybody that I talked to that was on a server said somebody did that at some point. It's the like, truth, it's though. It's the fucking truth. Somebody at some fucking point built a fucking dick because they can. I'm not hurting anything. All right, to be I'm fair, kind of crap. violating the sky, take it down. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely fucking the sky, that's for sure. Ugh. But to be fair, I was also like one of those assholes who did that before. Like, oh, yeah, it's like, <laughs> you ever hear of uh, probably like the biggest anarchy server there is 2B2T? Oh, I've heard yeah. of it, yeah. We're like, you can stay in close and get screwed over by everybody who's using cross map, shoot or shoot aim, whatever. And peep and like everything's been strip my everything's been a chaotic mind, I'm gonna call it, because they're using hacks. Mm -hmm. But if you get out far enough from the hub, you could basically just if you get like millions of blocks out from the hub, you could basically just have a normal game of Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Now, the fact that there's, like, you can find water in the fucking nether on 2B2T. Somehow. There was a it's short... Actors. No, no. There was a short fucking time when it was possible to do water in the nether. Oh, yeah, well, you could place a cauldron and put water in the cauldron or something. Nope. Or Oh, wait, was it breaking ice? There was a short... Oh, well, there was a short time when ice could, in fact, turn into water in the nether for, like, a very fucking short time, and then it was yeah. gone. Yeah, Storm is the type of person to build an actual deck in Minecraft. I'm the type of person who would go to specifically Storm's base and build a princess coronation because the streamline, because he thinks the streamlined shell on it looks phallic. You're both trolls in different ways. Hey, dude, I've got something for you. And no, it's not a troll this time, I promise. The coronations were I'm built as building the uh, villager breeder. For context for the viewers, the, the princess coronations were built with, like, a standard steam locomotive layout, so, like, they look like a normal steam locomotive. But then, partway into the development process, they decided it would be a good idea to put a streamlined shell on it for publicity and, like, views type of thing. The looks. And the shell they built the for it was not super good for the maintenance Thank crews. You. Like, it had handrails on it, but it didn't have anywhere for them to stand, so it made accessing a lot of things a pain, even though there were hatches. 
contrast to the A4s, where the streamlining was very much at the core of the design, and so they designed the streamlining to have actual foot plates on it so that you could climb on it and maintain. Well, we have a fuck ton of sandstone. We don't really have much sand, do we? I believe that was correct. And in the back of my mind, I'm puzzling out what blocks would be good for what liveries. Like, for example, yellow terracotta would be perfect for RV khaki. Whatever that means. Um, you remember that Sans Trains video we watched a while ago that was the train pack with the tan being good and the railway gun? No. Dang it. <laughs> it's like you expect me to remember every locomotive review you show me. It's because he typically does, but you just aren't as interested, so you don't remember it. I, I kind of figured you would remember that one because you were blown away by the railway gun and how cool it was. <laughs> if I was really blown away by it, would I still be here? Hardy har har. Boo. Well played. Boo. <laughs> you fucking suck. Boo. Sometimes I really love this guy. Well played. <laughs> well played, Storm. I walked into that one. Okay, let's put it this way. He just thought the railway gun was freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, Storm, you remember when we when we used to have those simplistic model tanks that we built? And there were several that we did up in a desert camouflage and there was in the super light tan? Yeah. That tan is super close to the shade of R.O.D. khaki. Okay. Oh, I love, like, I love the glass. Don't you think this glass looks so nice and clean with the Optifine textures? Yes. I don't have to find, so... Yes. Fuck yes, you. Fuck you, man. <laughs> You've had how long to get Optifine that... and you never got her? What, what kind of heathen that are you that you play without to get it. Bro, it would speed up your fucking performance. You know that, right? <laughs> no. Oh, well, I do now. I had fought this entire fucking time you had known that that shit speeds up performance. I no, guess not. I didn't. No, I didnn't. I guess I'm okay. just The only reason I ever had it before is because um, Jay always got it for me because he insisted I needed to have it. Yes, because it optimizes performance. And on your computer, Optifine is a necessary thing. Or at least it's a much better thing to have Optifine on that computer. Send me a link to it after the stream. It's Optifine.net. I swear it's like Optifine.net. It might be .com. Let me see. Optifine.net. I can do it right fucking now and send you that link to make sure. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you have it. Watching you yell as if you get Optifine there. is super entertaining for some reason. <laughs> I'll install it later. The, uh, That's fine. Like, a pr this is what a prank war between me and Storm would look like. He would build an actual dick in my base, and then I would go to his base and build a princess coronation. <laughs> children. What the heck I'm is this room? I'm surrounded by a bunch of fucking children. What room? I'm coming, let me see. Uh, that might be the Y11. This is the tunnel network. I'm at 16 right now. Oh. Yeah, we all we all deserve oh, yeah. to go to uh, because Y16 I believe is like the proper like the best level or something. Yeah, this is uh it's like the best level for iron. Oh, okay. And that's what's Oh. Cool. There was some iron there. I'll take that up and put it in the chest. I just realized oxidized copper would make a great western Brunswick green. Uh, Here's fully oxidized copper. Fully oxidized copper. Yeah, that would make a perfect Great Western Green right there. There's a maw down here. I th no, this is just a cave.
Is there more down there? Why are there no stairs? Because we're a bunch of jerks who are trolling each other at every point. Oh, because time. I never, uh, because I had expanded down there fully, and you, uh, you just never went through the stairs. Sorry. Because you never told me you had got, uh, you never told me I you had. had I had. Did you? You just forgot. Did you, you know I, that you can zoom in, like, a ridiculous amount if you have a spyglass and optifine both and use both the optifine zoom and the spyglass zoom at the same time? Actually, no, that does not work. Really? I saw it work on Hermitcraft. It might have changed. It might have been might changed. Have patched it then. I swear That's it was okay. patched. That that doesn't work. Oh, we don't even have amethyst crystal, anyways. I was about to say if we had amethyst crystal, I would totally uh try to show it off. But we don't have uh yeah we don't have amethyst crystal. Oh wait, I've got the better prank crystal. I built an A four at his base. So tell me, how is he going to pull that off? I think the best thing he can get for the front oh. is stairs. I'm not talking build at A4 because anybody thinks it looks bad. Like, I'm telling you, I'm talking build at A4 as just a troll move because he thinks they're ugly. And I'm saying, how well, would he dirty. pull that off? There's nothing to give him that smooth, flat front that it has. You do what you can in Minecraft, dude. I've seen, like, you remember when Jay built a B-29 and it actually looked like a B-29? Vaguely. Jay is Jay. I'm sorry, there is no fucking way you can compare us to Jay. Jay is yeah, Jay. Jay. I am not comparing you or me to Jay. I am saying that it is possible with enough dedication and refinement. And that's just not something I have when it comes to Minecraft. And who said you would be the one building the A4? I'm like I going. Said I, I said I would build an A4 in your base to troll you. Right. I'm just like, going through and I'm adding that uh glass roof. Like, not only am I going to add the glass roof, I'm going to like wall this like entire thing oh. in glass. Hey, so. You're talking about walling everything up in glass for some reason made me think of a card. I think it's called like glass bottle or something like that. But in really old magic, they would actually reference the expansion sets by name. City in a bottle. City in a bottle. Yeah. But like there was one called City in a Bottle that destroyed all permanents that were originally printed in the Arabian Nights expansion. Mm -hmm. I am not joking. I am not making this up. That is a real card. The other one that they did was up. This is this is a famously bad card. That's called Apocalypse Chime. That destroys all permanents that were originally built. That were originally printed in the Homelands expansion. And it's really bad because nobody plays with Homelands cards because Homelands cards are garbage. <laughs> I think we need another set like Homelands and Standard right now. It wouldn't do anything, dude. It had the effect of what Kamigawa had in Mirrodin Standard. I.e. nobody would play it and people would lose faith and quit. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I just don't play Standard enough to actually care. <laughs> uh I fucking love hearing these guys bitch about magic. The only thing I really care I'm not about. I'm complaining about it. I'm just more making fun of it. All right. The only thing yeah, I really. The stairs all the way to the bottom now. Okay. The I only thing I really about care it. about with magic nowadays is the fucking killer soundtracks. For the trailers. No, dude. No, they make fucking soundtracks for the sets. 
Oh yeah, I need to get I need to listen to some of those. Uh Kamigawa had a pretty decent one. Uh okay, I mainly know of them because uh some of the artists, the musician the singers who I follow, like they were like uh one of the guys, Jonathan Young, he was like uh he was actually like one of those guys who Wizards actually pretty much went it's like, Hey, you wanna produce the uh our albums? Like he was literally asked to produce the albums and he did uh New Capricorn. First he's done all the albums, he's produced all of them. Capana. What's new that? Capana. You said New Capricorn, I was like, You mean New Capana? However you're supposed to say it, I don't... It's Capenna. Capenna, okay. Why did you get Capricorn? That's a... I don't that's fucking know what... I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Capricorn Frankly, that's freaking... how I feel half the time, so I relate. But, uh, yeah, they've had, like, some good... Some good ones. Uh, pretty much he, like, went to, like, a lot of his, uh, his, uh, singer friends and went, Hey, you wanna... You wanna make some songs for this? And they have been fucking killer. Uh, new ca Capana? Is that how you say it? Capana. 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 Alright, whatever the fucking 1920s ask one. You get the point. Capana. Yeah. I know what he was going for, so we're good. You get the point. I can't pronounce things for shit. Everybody knows Jin cannot yeah. pronounce for shit. Oh my gosh. Um, you can say Game shit Knights, pretty well. The Game Nights video for the new Capanna Commanders was hilarious because they, they all role-played Italian mobsters. Oh my gosh. See? That would have been fun with Brandon Sanderson. Because that yeah, guy like is like a freaking master of role-played role like mafia bosses. It was hilarious. Uh... Let's see. Oh, they had, um... What was it? Uh... You have a, uh, Nails and Kneecaps, which is for, like, the, uh, Riveters. You got yeah. Join Us, which is for one of the things. Uh... What's the Arcana Fortune Teller one? Uh, they did Fortune Tellers for that one. Um... Join Us, Fortune hey, Tellers. I forget, I forget what they're uh, called. Uh, Old I Money. What you're talking about. But it's like uh, the Riveters that are like the kind of like nails and kneecaps guys. Like, yeah, uh, there there was actually like a Wizards quiz that's like, oh yeah, find out like what you know street you know gang of uh new yeah. Capana. They did they did that for Ravnica it. too. They did that for Ravnica. They I also did like, one for right. Strixhaven. I Take a guess, the... which gang do you think I would fit in? Which gang do you think I got for that? You seem like a Riveter to me. What was that? You seem like Riveteers to me. Both of you said that. How the fuck did both of you know it? Uh, because we, we know you two dang well. well. <laughs> I just, no, I just guessed based off of the one I remembered the name for. <laughs> I, I remembered the name for it, but I didn't just guess it because I remembered the name for it. I guessed it because you, you seem like a Riveteers personality from what I know about them. Yeah, get away from me, skeleton. Hey, uh... Jin, I think you may want to go help him. Ah, he'll be fine. Good. He'll I'm be fine. He'll be fine. He's still. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm good. I got three hearts. Yeah, how long is those three I'm hearts going to last, bitch? Now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I got away from the skeleton. I'm fine. Nice to meet you, fine. I'm X. You're an ass. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, like, working on this fucking thing. Like, I know exactly how, like, kind of to do this. It's just this fucking roof that I'm having to work on the most. All right. Let me kind of, like, uh, do this. Uh... So, what is it? Like, uh... Sorry, they fall... Ouch. This goes what? Uh, one, two, bah, three, and then it goes six blocks. Oh, well, that works better with that there, so. 
But it ends up going, what, six blocks from what I remember? Yeah, from what I remember, it's like six blocks it goes. But, uh... Yeah, there's like some really good, good music for those, like, soundtracks. Uh... Alright, got anything else, any, like, let's think of topics we can, like, uh, talk about. What's topic that you kind of, uh, think would be interesting to talk about? I mean, you know where I'm gonna go. <laughs> and where are you gonna go? Hmm? I want you to, I want you to guess what's on my mind right now. A threesome. <laughs> Shut up, Storm. <laughs> you're a fucking... You're an ass. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that doesn't get you banned. It won't, trust me. I've, I've heard some fucking worse shit. So, so pretty much what's on my mind is... There's a new Class 55 Deltic on the model train market. I really want one. But mm -hmm. there's also the... The KR Models GT3 is also back in stock. They're both around a similar price point. And both are really good models. I have enough hobby budget right now to get one or the other. And I can't decide. <laughs> mm. See, I told you. Was I talking about a threesome, you dick? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's you, there's the Deltic, and there's the GT3. You're so a fucking like a child. What is wrong with you, Storm? You're a fucking child. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm super mad with the Christian community at large because they just won't stop making Christians look bad. Uh, are you really sure you want to dive into religion? It's not about the. I've been having grievances about this all week. It's not. It's not about the religion itself. It's, it's that about the, the mega churches specifically. Because the they're all getting. Are claiming... They're all getting. All of the leaders are getting in trouble for sexual stuff. Just like Catholic priests used to. And on top of that, just other groups who are claiming to be Christian just aren't acting the way they should if they actually are Christian. They never understand point. what they say they believe. Like, we're not talking about the religious debate here. We're talking about people who claim to be Christians, but in all likelihood actually aren't. Yeah, we're talking about nominal Christians here. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Hey, I'm just, like, really fucking paranoid that talking about religion is going to fucking hurt my, like, analytics for streams. I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, I'm just, like, fucking... Yeah. I get paranoid, like, whenever politics or religion just come, comes up, because, like, it yeah. becomes a case of, like, Oh boy, and how the fuck are my statistics gonna drop today? Alright, look. I am a Christian, and I understand what I believe. But I also see that a lot of Christians Whoa. don't understand what they believe, and they don't even understand how to f defend their faith. And we've got atheists that can defend Christianity better than Christians can. And then they're like, if you guys can't give us arguments like that, then why should I believe that you actually believe this? Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what he's getting upset about, and I'm getting upset. I've actually been upset about it, too. I've just been talking about it less. <laughs> well, that's what's been on my mind for, like, three months. And, like, I brought up my thing, because my thing's more lighthearted and doesn't really have much effect and will probably not affect his analytics. Yes, I'm just paranoid. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be, like, an ass storm. I'm just, like, I get paranoid whenever religion yeah, gets yeah. mentioned. I get you. I get you. 
You're good. So, like, I'm pretty sure he'd rather hear me talk about my locomotive dilemma than that. <laughs> it is the unfortunate truth is that even I do prefer that. It's like, I'm not, yeah, I, I have talked about this before. I'm pagan. I am willing to have debates about religion. It's just I get paranoid as fuck because I'm still uh, so new to the streaming game. And I've always kind of, like, heard that politics and religion can kind of fuck you over at times. Yeah. So what you're saying is like you'll you're fully willing to debate this stuff with us, but off camera. Yes, I would much prefer to do that because I just I don't want to take the risk of my analytics getting hit. Perfectly fine. You're good. You're good. But yeah, like just to explain for the viewers, like I, you know, it's like as I said, I'm a pagan, and these guys they have no problem with me. You know, they're, they're good. They're good guys. But, yeah, you know, it's... Like, we, we, like, one, of, one of the things that people don't seem to understand about Christianity, like, people within the Christian community, actually, this, this is a common thing I see, is that there's actually a passage where it's the, in a nutshell, summarized version of the passage is Jesus is telling his apostles to go out and spread the spread the good news, spread the, spread the religion, essentially. But he tells them that if they come to a town and are rejected, to, quote, wipe the dust off your feet and move on. In other words, they're supposed to state the message, and if they're not accepted, don't force it on them. And a lot of Christians don't understand that. Okay, uh, so... That's that's the last thing I'm gonna say on the topic. Yeah. Uh, so we need to uh figure out how we oh oh geez you know what oh this is gonna be more of a pain in the ass because we don't have carrots. And we not use bread. You for the farm. Can it's just not efficient. Just not as really. efficient. He's talking, he's talking about building the farmer's chamber for the villager breeder. Yeah, I know. You know what? I, I wonder. Let me Google. Man, watching stuff like that break is mega satisfying. What? Oh, I took down the dripstone dick. <laughs> Thank you. You actually did something that wasn't a dick move for once. Which, funnily enough, was set up by a very literal dick move. <laughs> and Jin is... Well, here's my statement to Jin here. Um, your stunned silence is very reassuring. No, I'm just, like, looking stuff up. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. Shit. Okay, potatoes. We have potatoes. We can use potatoes instead. I feel stupid for not remembering that in the spur of the moment. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, You're it's just nighttime. As as I am. To be fair, it's it's like something we don't really think about because like typically you kind of have carrots and you're just like able to use carrots very easily. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like we're kind of used to it because most designs kind of go with like a carrot. But you can also use potatoes. Is there any difference in efficiency between carrots and potatoes? I don't think so. I've used potato. I have. Looking back, I've actually used potatoes for this before, so uh, it was perfectly fine. If there is a difference in efficiency, I do not know of it. Technically, you can also use wheat. Technically. I would not recommend it, though, because it is so fucking slow. 
there there's like a lot there's a lot of problems with uh villagers and wheat apparently so it's like you know <laughs> magic did really damn good jobs at like breaking how the fuck villagers use wheat to breed so you know it's like you know give or take whether or not the wheat's actually going to work potatoes guaranteed carrots guaranteed But, yeah, so it, it should work with the potatoes, from what I know. Well, why the fuck are we all quiet today? Huh? I don't know. Huh? Um, I, I just decided, decided um, I've, I've got, got something, something important I need to check real fast. I'll be right back. Yeah, fair enough. Uh... All right, Storm, what are you doing? Uh, pulling around. <laughs> okay, then I will make demand. We need andesite and sand. I would prefer you to go dig some sand for me right now, though. Does that Come work? Find me first. What's that? Come find me first. God damn it. All right. I will give you a hint. I'm around the staircase somewhere. I know. I saw you go down. Are you up? No. You are down. Why is it fucking flooded? What did you fucking do? Oh, yeah, that. What did you fucking do, you ass? Why is it flooded? What did you do? I actually don't know why it's flooded. It looks like someone went up. mining and it fucking flooded the staircase. I now have to collect the fucking torches. Deal with this. Oh. Not that. You did run right over me, though. Alright. I don't care. I'm dealing with torches right now. Alright. That's all sorted. Okay. I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. Right now, I'll just leave this like this. All right, so I was telling you a little bit about those two locomotives I'm trying to choose between the Deltec and the GC3. Mm -hmm. Both have really fascinating histories for completely different reasons. The GT3 is this like bizarre one-off prototype that in operation was super successful, but they desi but they decided against mass producing them because they were gas turbines, and gas turbines are very, very loud. That wasn't as much a problem for the Union Pacific. The Union Pacific were known to use gas turbines in, like, the 50s. Because the Union Pacific was operating in, like, long stretches of just nothing. <laughs> Whereas England is very densely populated, which means the noise would be extremely disruptive roughly 90-ish percent of the time. As opposed to like maybe 10 ish, per as opposed to maybe like 5 to 10% of the time for the Union Pacific. And the class 55 Deltics are, let's, let's just put it this way 
They took over the East Coast Main Line, which was run by the London and Northeastern before the before the nationalization into British Rails. The Class 55s took over that line from the aging Gresley Pacifics, which are some, which, which, for simplicity's sake, I'll say are a set of very, very famous locomotives with a long legacy behind them. Mm. And the Deltics were so good that they filled the shoes of them quite easily and built a legacy of their own. I see. How interesting. And it's it's less about the the thing is why I'm having trouble deciding between both of them because I like them both in equal amount but for completely different reasons. Very interesting. I do apologize. I'm kind of like tired, oh, tired and like tuckered out from like uh, the stream I had done earlier. So oh, you're good. One. You're good. Two, three, four, five. Here it is. Six. And then it does a seven. Uh, yeah. Just I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm kind of curious to know what you would think between like which locomotive would you go for based on looks. So like, I'm gonna discord you pictures of each class. Okay. You want me to show these off on stream? Sure, I'd be, I'd be okay with that. So the first one is the Class 55 Deltic. Okay. I'll wait until the other one is posted before I do anything with the pictures. Fair. This should be seven. Ah. Finding photo, finding old photos of the GT3 is really hard, and that's what made it impressive to me that KR models were able to produce a model of one because it's like this bizarre prototype that didn't survive, and like there's only a few photos left of it. But yeah, the first one is the Class 55 Deltic, and the second one is the GT3. Okay. Uh... Let me go ahead. Yeah, we're showing off the two locomotives I'm trying to choose between. Here we go. Here is the Deltic. The first one is the Deltic, and the second one yep. Yep. is. The GT3. Mm. They both look good. I know, right? <laughs> Actually, I do have a little bit of a conundrum. Probably GT3. I'm up with a, I've been toying with a character, but I'm not sure whether I want to make him a villain or a good guy. So you're leaning GT3? Yes. It's pretty. I like the colors on it. Yeah, it is a pretty unique livery. Yeah, I actually am following KR Model's career with great interest, so to speak. Because the GT3 was KR Model's first foray into the market. And then mm. after the GT3, they're just like, oh, we're going to make a Fell locomotive and a Clayton DP1 and a leader class. 
which are other weird one-off experimental locomotives that all had varying degrees of success and or failure. Interesting. So, <laughs> I'm not going to go into the history of each one of those right now. Partially because I don't remember half of it. Like, the only one I really know any good detail on is the leader. How many stacks of sand should I get? Several. Really doesn't matter, just get stacks. So I had an idea for a new character. I'm not sure whether I want to make him a villain or a hero. How about neither? That's an interesting concept. And no, I'm not saying that just to troll you. It's possible to have a character that is neither. Yeah, that's true. Like Deadpool, for instance. Deadpool's neither. Said character is like... So when the story takes place, is like a modern-day high-seas pirate. Okay. He hires lots of people that he can use to crew ships that he hijacks. But right. said hijackings that he does are extremely difficult for the crews of the ships he hijacks to respond to. Because he has a he has men on the ship that whose specific jo their specific job is to keep a rhythm and each beat in that rhythm has different weapons firing off. So it's difficult for the for them to respond without getting hit by something. Hmm. Interesting. Why not make I, one like an anti hero? Like Deadpool. Like He's on the good guy's side. I like. I see him being like a Saw Gerrera type, where like he's he has the right. He has the best intentions, but he's going about it the wrong way type of deal. You could always do a super tragic backstory villain type situation. But you don't want to fall into the pitfall of Doofenshmirtz, where it's so comedically tragic that it's just weird. Dude, Doofenshmirtz was done that way on purpose. Yeah, I know. But I feel like that's easily a pitfall that someone could fall into. When writing a villain, just have it so over overly tragic that it becomes funny. We have so much sandstone. I know, I know Doofenshmirtz do. was done that way intentionally, but I feel like that's something you could fall into unintentionally or it would become a pitfall. I need to make myself a couple of shovels. I don't see any wood in any of these no. chests. I'm really hoping the table will mean I have better lighting over my models for for better photos when I want to share them. <laughs> previously, my lighting was so bad that I would have to use my camera flash just so that you could actually see anything. And then part of the model would be drowned out by the camera flash. Hmm. Okay, so kind of everything kind of set up. I just need another pick. I'm going to make another iron pick. I need some water and then use the restroom. I'll be right back. Fair. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Glass, glass, glass. Delicious fucking glass. Wait, no, that came out wrong. <laughs> took me a minute to think about it but it's like wait no that's wrong that, that's not supposed to sound like that think about what you say on the internet uh, someone will clip it and it'll be stupid as fuck yeah 
It's like, it's a fuck up, but it's like, it's not too bad of a fuck it'll up. Turn, it'll circulate as a really stupid meme. <laughs> it probably will. One, two, three. Okay. And, and practically nobody's gonna understand that. Two, three, four, five. Oh, have you seen uh, the finale of Kenobi? I have, yes. That was good. Not gonna it spoil it, but it was good. Have you watched episode three of Miss Marvel? I watched the first episode and I could just not get fucking into it. It, bro, that shit's so fucking cringe to me. It's like they do this, sh like I don't like, know what the fuck I it is. I understand why you find it cringy. Stereotypical teenage cringe. I get why you find that difficult to watch. And I found episode one a little bit difficult to watch, but it gets better after episode one. I so figured it point. would get better. Miss Marvel. What was it? Miss Marvel. Marvel. Ah. It's like, okay, I will admit, I figured that it probably would get better. It's just, I fucking had such a struggle getting through that first episode that I was so fucking worried the entire series was going to be like that. Oh, what was episode one basically abridged Mean Girls or something? No, no. but it was, it was very cringy. Yes, it was so fucking cringe. It was it was a cringe fest. Like the Gumball episodes with the hot dog guy. Uh, I never really watched Gumball. Sorry. Those episodes are purposely cringe fest. They're making fun of people who are being cringy. I love those episodes. They're so funny. I have a funny feeling he would like Miss Marvel. <laughs> but it's like... I see... Okay, I see so much of Kamala Khan in X. Think about it. Yeah, I see it. Oh, what is she? Uh, was she a totally over extroverted total nerd? Yes. I wouldn't say she's extroverted, but she's definitely a fucking nerd and writes fan fiction and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that I, knew, I actually knew that about the character already. Alex okay. read from Kamala Khan comics a while ago. I understand. Um, and what I've seen of the show. Apparently, the show is taking some of the religious background of the character way more seriously than the comics do a lot of the time. Yeah, from what I know, it... From what I know is that the comics don't always give the most credence to that, but they definitely give a lot of credence to it in the show. It, it also doesn't help that we had such a good season of, like, fucking Moon Knight. And then we go into, like, you know, we had so cool, so fun, you know, Moon Knight. And then it becomes, and now here's Kamala Khan. And it's like, ooh. I admit, I found it kind of difficult to follow in places. Presumably because they're portraying a character who basically has three different personalities and is <laughs> a lot to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> no, the funny what, fucking. Did I just nail it? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, that 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 was like a lot of it. It's like they they did really clever things narratively to help with to help to help portray that. But yeah. But I've, it was I've, really bizarre and I've kind of read to Moon Knight, at points. I've never read Moon Knight comics, but there's this one channel, Nerd Sync, that did a bunch of videos on him. So, like, I know a bit about him because I watch those videos. But, like, the dude basically has these internal monologue, this, these internal dialogues with himself, but in the guises of Spider Man, Captain America, and Wolverine. Yeah, we don't really see that in the show, though. Yeah, I mean. Obviously, because Wolverine and Spider-Man are technically owned by different studios. Spider-Man is MCU still, though. Yeah. But Wolverine, on the other hand. He could be later. 
Uh, Hugh Jackman, unfortunately, from what I know, is not going to come back for that, which is the unfortunate part. Yeah. Uh, but that doesn't mean Wolverine as a character won't come back. Yeah, he'll come back, but at the same time, you know, it just won't be the same. It's like, Hugh Jackman had yeah, such a sure. fucking awesome... Per you know, he portrayed... He you Jackman portrayed Wolverine better than anybody else could. Exactly. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying nobody else could do a good job. I'm just saying Hugh Jackman had the perfect personality that he could display for the role. Yeah. Exactly. He had the perfect personality for the role. He he fit the role perfectly. Yeah, sure. It's like, you know, people point out the thing too, like his height. Yeah, he's too tall. But that's it. Like... Yeah. Well, apparently, apparently, as I learned, like, uh, you know, it's like one of the things he apparently was, uh, they were going to tie in, you know, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in, uh, the first Avengers. Apparently, he was going to show up. That didn't happen because they couldn't fit him into his fucking suit in time, and because of that, he just didn't have the time to stick around for it. So he ended up uh, not being part of it, but apparently he was originally going to be part of the MCU and Avengers. But oh, yeah, man. they're gonna have like a one-off rollway man. scene that showed him, and that was it. You know what I mean? I kind of that that actually leads me to one of the what I feel is one of the biggest tragedies in Marvel history is that. One of the best cartoons they ever did was Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Mm -hmm. And I want to say it was season two of that show when they come when they did the whole secret invasion arc with the scrolls. There are several scenes, and then like there's also the Galactus ones at the end where they bring in characters of other teams. And like also in the new Avengers, the Fantastic Four, we were a frequent appearance on that show. And then like there were several episodes that Wolverine figured in, like the new Avengers one, of course, and then like there were a few episodes that heavily featured Luke Cage and Iron Fist. They were only in one episode. They were in they were in the Scott Lang introduction episode, and they were in the New Avengers episode. I don't remember them being in Scott Lang's introduction episode. <laughs> I remember it because they show up flanking Hank Pym, and the, the, the crime boss dude is like, what are you guys supposed to be? And then Luke goes, Oh, yeah, I'm Captain America, and the guy in the pajamas is Thor. And then Iron Fist just gives him this look of, really, dude? Okay, there's... But, and then, like, the, the, there's all kinds of Easter eggs hinting at various other characters in the scroll episodes. Like, there are scenes where you see Tony Stark and Nick Fury each in their respective offices trying to rule out who is and who isn't a scroll. Hmm. And, like, if you look closely, you can see, oh, yeah, that's Cyclops on the wall type of thing. Hmm. And then, the, and then, of course, there's the final episode where they where they beat Galactus off, and basically everybody you could ever think of cameos. Because they, they basically gather up every super character in New York, divide them into strike teams, and send them to the areas where, like, the generators are that are going to break down the Earth for Galactus. And I think they could have built an awesome universe around that show, but the, then the show got cut short, and the Galactus episodes were basically just a cut-and-dry finale that they could do to show people that the show had ended. Yeah. From what, what I understand, they wanted to build a big universe around that show, but then Ultimate Spider-Man started, and they were like, let's do it around this instead. <sighs> Ultimate Spider-Man was fun, but the other... And, like... Ultimate Ultimate Agents of Smash was kind of entertaining occasionally. Alright, Ultimate Spider-Man was good. It's just so sad that the guy who voiced Spider-Man in that happened to be a really fucking bad person. Like, he, uh, ooh, he, he was, uh, uh, he was into some, uh, bad shit. I don't know how to, like, put it without, uh, Kind of like talking about his crimes, but yeah, he uh he he went to prison for shit. Uh, 
This does not surprise me. Uh, it really surprises Just... me when actors or talents go to prison anymore. Everybody does stupid shit. Oh, no, no, no. Hell no. No, 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 no. He didn't do stupid shit. No, nope. his uh, stupid shit was getting caught pretty much. When, okay, Most so I will I... say is it involved children. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yep. Oh dear. Yep, okay, he was arrested leave... in Ohio for it. Let's, so let's leave this. Let's leave this discussion then. Uh, we were just talking about the shows, and you're like, "Oh, the guy was bad," and then it went there, and I'm like, "Oh crap." <laughs> yeah, he was not good. He was a good voice actor, not a good person. Yeah, he was a good voice actor. He was also a singer. Hmm. That I did not know. But yeah, it was yeah. like one of those things that it was also known that he uh, was abusive towards an ex. Like he was known for uh, apparently he smacked her around a lot. So. Okay, can we change? Can we change yeah. back to the whole cartoons topic? That. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I was having fun. I was having a good time talking about the cartoons. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Ultimate Spider-Man was a lot of fun as a show. But the universe they tried building around the universe they tried building around it was obnoxious. That's fair. That's a fair assessment. The only character in the Avengers hey, show for that universe sand. that was actually practically useful, that sand. was actually not obnoxious, was Natasha. There was that one episode where the rest of them got turned into Hulks, and then it was up to Hulk and Natasha to turn them all back to normal, and they all actually had a little bit of character growth because of it. It was like the one time there was any character growth at all in that show. I started Hulk and the Agents of Smash. The best part of the show so was bad. definitely A Bomb, but he's not a character I'm terribly familiar with. Because the only comic I ever read with him in it um, opened with him getting his face blown off by Red Hulk. As in, like, his face, as in, he got punched in the face so hard that his face didn't exist anymore. No, he probably not, got shot off a gun. Not punched in the face, shot. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, is like, it's Red Hulk. He got shot with a fucking gun. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, Red Hulk. Um, Thunderbolt Ross is a, he's a character. Oh, that, like, you know, the play. sad part, we'll never get Red Hulk in the MCU because Thunder, the actor for Thunderbolt Ross died. Like, he, like, this was, like, fucking months ago. And I don't want to recast him. You know who I think would make a good Thunderbolt Ross? This is this is gonna sound a little off the wall. J.K. Simmons. He's already J. Jonah Jameson. He's, yeah, he's already Jameson, dude. Yeah, but it's a P. He has the perfect personality to do Thunderbolt Ross. Like, who says a person can't do multiple roles? I mean, look at the universe. Yeah, not um, not something like that. The guy who the guy who. The guy who wrote Fairly Odd Parents, Butch Hartman, could do every voice for the Fairly Odd Parents. Um, there's a voice actor who did Carl Weezer and the Pink Nanobot in Jimmy Neutron. Three different characters in the Fairly Odd Parents and a character for Transformers. His voice is too fucking recognizable, though. That's the problem. The problem with casting J.K. Simmons. As both Jameson and Thunderbolt Ross should be obvious. It's a cinematic universe. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I just can't think of anyone else who has the right personality for it. Alright, I'm like starting on the uh, glass enclosure now. Here's the thing. Uh, You know what? It's about time for me to start on... Getting the two pieces of glass for this. I'm about finished. I need this. We need bone meal. We need a fuck ton of bone meal. Now that I think of it. Sorry. Hmm. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I know it's late. I already did like a... I don't even know how many hour long stream today. Now I'm doing this. Yeah. 
trust me, I get being tired. I'm like tired as fuck. I got. Here's bone meal. Okay, good. We only have a single potato. Bone meal, part of this balanced breakfast. Apparently, it's not like they're like some sort of like bone meal, meal edible <laughs> s sort of thing. <laughs> what? Or... I was making a dumb joke, like you know those cereal, those ads for like the super sugary breakfast cereals, where they say part of this balanced breakfast. Well, like, they'll show kids eating big bowls of it, and then they'll just show, show a screenshot of, like, a muffin and orange, of, like, a muffin, a glass of orange juice, and then a little itty-bitty bowl of the cereal that can only barely even hold the spoon, and it's a part of this balanced breakfast. Right. <laughs> what you need, my friend, is a nano farm. Fuck off. No, thank you. Fuck off, we don't like nano farms here. You got something against- what, why do you have against nano farms? I just don't like them. Simple as that. What, do you think they're too cheesy or something? No, I just don't care for nano farms, that's it. Oh. Hey, could you, uh, go grab the beds and, uh, bring them to me? You mean the ones in the chest? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. The ones in the chest. So I can the start... cyan bed looks like the same color as diamonds. Interesting. I'll bring him in a second. We seem to have a change in ceiling levels, so how does that look? I hate saying it. it might be a good idea to... In it's up to you. Whether you want to increase it, one or not. But how are you going to encompass, like, this glass box? Are we going to encompass it, or are we just going to, like, straight up, like... Break that and pop over like here that should show you okay uh beds yes thank you i have no idea how to help you with this that's fine i don't need your help luckily I don't need your help sounded a little bit harsh. <laughs> it was slightly harsh, I will admit. But I don't need his help for this. And to be honest, one of my favorite additions to this game is the fact that the baby villagers will jump on beds. And that's why this fucking thing works. That's one of the reasons why this thing works. Yep. I don't just love it for farting purposes. I love it just because it's cute. <laughs> but yeah, you you uh, saw what this thing looks like? Yeah, I've seen this design before. I've, I've seen a Scal 85 use a similar design no. to this. Okay, well, first off, I was not talking about you. I was asking Storm. Does this look good well, to you? You did not specify. I think it looks okay. Okay, uh... I like the idea of having a farming dome in the middle of it. In the middle of this ravine? The farming yeah. dome like this? Okay. Mm We're out of bone meal. So, this is perfect. I need to find, I need to get more glass for enclosing this. I need to 
you don't deal um with if you if you've only got the thing like half filled the villager can like fill it out over time yes but if he's filling it out he's not going to be dealing with everything you know yeah i know it'll make the farm slower to start but you yeah, know it'll make things a little more convenient for you Maybe so that it may make things more convenient. I really don't give a shit about it being convenient. Fair. I just want it done. Running. I want it want running. It I want it producing villagers. Fair. Oh fuck, I almost forgot. Um Hey and they uh you know what? Let me let me grab it myself. Bone uh, me all you wanted? Yes. Oops. That was external. Okay. And the uh, one where you had the beds, uh, there should be a trapdoor. Give me it. Thank you. You said you didn't need his help. I just need him to be a gopher. I'll be a gopher. Just give me a place to dig a little tunnel. Annoy you in the yard. Fuck you. You know what you know what I mean by gopher, right? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm not I sure. I'm, not I'm sure. just being a dick. I'm not sure I do though. Go for this, go for that. Okay. Yeah, you I know go, what he means. When you said gopher, I actually thought of the same thing that Storm was joking about. I won't <laughs> lie, the first time I heard it, I thought that too. Because my mom had, at one time, she'd been on the uh, original, like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, movie. Back in, like, whenever the fuck that was, like, the 90s or whatever. I apologize for breaking that. Replant the potato. I also think we need a way to collect, collect extra potatoes so that I have trade stock. Yes, and I will make pretty sure. Pretty easy to build into the farm. He's not using the same design that I it's did. Not... That just automatically collect spare potatoes. Yes, this is not that design, and I I'm not planning on using that design. Now, what I'm doing is, uh, I will make sure that we have a couple extra potatoes so that I can set up a farm for it. Here we go. See, I have extra potatoes to be able to set up a farm. You could set up an extra villager powered one that like tricks them into throwing them into a collector while they're trying to throw to another villager. That could be set up later. Yeah. What I'm gonna say is that what I'm saying is that like once we have several extra villagers there we to go. use, you can set that up. Oh yeah. Uh I'll just like grow some of this so that they can break it themselves. Okay, come here and I will uh There's a block so you can get out and go. Really? Really what? What did he do? I he clicked in, on a bed and started sleeping. <laughs> okay, I need glass so I can uh, start enclosing everything. So... Is there not any in the furnace? Yes, there is. I just need to set up some more stuff to smell and all that. Because it's going to take, like, a lot of glass for us to close it. Oh, okay. That looks better. You may not rest now. The bed is too far away. That looks a lot better with using that stair.
So you like the stairs there for the ceiling height change? Yes. I do too, actually. I need some fences now. Make them. Yes, I'm seriously going to throw some of those in to this. Yeah, it's going to be double thick. And parts. Whatever. Never. Parts of that's going to be double thick. Temporary measure for now. Why is there a fence there? I got a reaction from you. Okay, uh, no, this... That's wrong. I think, there's a, I think we're at a point where you need to be helping him and not trolling him. I'm finishing up the hallway, okay? Yeah, it's fine. It... There, was a ran there was a random extra fence and it was, it's an extra one past what I'm gonna be using for the hallway. Yeah, well, I stuck it in there for you, so. Stuck it in one of the slots to help you. You're welcome. All right, need more glass. Oh man, should I put? Should I start doing support structures in the in the um, storage room? If you wish, that'll keep me occupied for a while. Like I said, if you wish. I need to make, now that I think of it, I need to make make us like a game night song, like, you know, it's like, it's game night, you know, like, we need to have like a fucking theme song for this shit. Ow. Do I have to have a theme song for everything? No, I just thought it would be funny. That's the sheer fucking reason for it, is I thought it would be funny. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, more glass, more glass, bunch more glass, Oh. Right in this Right, I think that was from one of my adventures. Whatever, I'll throw the potatoes in there. Okay, uh da, 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 da.
Hmm. Oh man. We are so close to like getting this villager breeder done. We just need to get the villagers. Villagers gonna be hard. Like that's seriously gonna be like the hard part of this shit is dealing with the villager <laughs> and transporting him around. Interesting. There we go. So, the enclosure where the villagers will end up fully grown is almost fully enclosed. Their tunnel is already fully enclosed, so after this enclosure, all I will need is the, uh... Oh, fuck. All I will need at this point is the enclosure for the, uh... What is it? The, um... Farm. Fucking hell, my mind. My mind is shot from having streamed all day at this point. The fact that this is 51 by 51 is making it so that the support structure that I'm putting in is kind of unsymmetrical. There's four on one side and three on the other. Then shift it. It's possible to shift it enough for you, dude. So remember, that was so that, you know... We could get fit everything in there properly or whatever for mm -hmm. chess. If we're doing like a big ass storage system, because we eventually plan to have an automated storage system in there. So you realize eventually these supports may get destroyed. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. I gotta go to bed in less than an hour, so. Alright, well goodbye, dude. Yeah. Um, Storm, Storm, you're free to keep, you're, you're free to keep playing back here. It's not really going to bother me that much, given how tired I am. I'm just going to, I'm probably just going to watch YouTube for like half an hour and then go to bed. So, have a nice night, guys. Thanks for having me, Jin. Yep. It was fun. Yep. It was a very good time. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one. I think about it. The bed should probably be in close as well. Fuck! I'm making more work for myself. Jen's making more work for himself. You keep doing that. <sighs> yeah, I keep doing that because I keep going. I was like, oh, this would look better. This would look better. This would look better. And it's like, fuck. It's taking more glass. Because I'm trying to enclose them, you know, and I'm closing the bed as well. So that the beds will also be enclosed in the uh, glass. It makes sense, doesn't it? I think I'm going to go lighter on the supports in here. I'm going to keep that one that's in the center of the room. Because if I do that, that way it'll look a little better if I shift these ones over. Mm. The good thing about me taking so fucking long to do this is it gives time for those potatoes to grow. Giving time for those potatoes to grow... It will make things a bit simpler.
You want to take a look at the, uh, the enclosure that I've got running? Just a second. Okay. We're running well in coal up here. Fuck. Ugh. Need to do a wood harvest so I can make charcoal. I have places where this wall is going to like come down double thick. What There's a bat in ever. here. Yeah, I know. I'm not surprised. Hey, come here, bat. Now it's taunting me, because I can't hit it. Oh. Maybe I should just get a name tag and name it Bruce. No. Fuck the bat. I will kill this fucking bat for you. I think this looks pretty decent. It's dead. Good. Yeah, that is good, because that's what we're getting, no matter what I say. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm gonna have to Do we have We don't have a full stack of oh, shit. Alright. Uh We also wait for how we have coal or fire up another stack, so fuck. Look at that. Oh, uh, just hearing X in the background. Look at that. Fucking hell. Amazing. I know, right? Yeah, I guess we're at the right level for uh, bats to spawn. That's fun. Oh, well. Oh. oh really it's late night for us for sure or at least it's late night for me because i've been sleeping during the night because of the heat wave
So this will end whenever you want the stream to end, okay? What was that? I'm probably going to be ready to go to bed shortly, so. Okay. Now, like I said, you just let me know when you want this to end, and it will end. Or structures another time. I think this looks okay, with the exception of, you know, two of the ones in my pattern are missing, and one of them is missing a fence post. I saw that. Yeah, because I used the last one. Oh, are you saying you're done now? Yeah, I think I'm done now. Okay, I'm gonna hang out a bit and just, like, put up some more of this glass. Like, once this last batch of glass is done smelting, then I will go. But I'm going to stay making progress on this for now. Just putting up this glass. Like, once, like I said, the stack that's in the furnace, once this, like, half stack that's in the furnace is done, I will end the stream. It was fun doing a stream with you, Storm. Yeah. I had hey, fun, too. Make sure you send a message to your DM and ask if I will be able to join. All right. Thank you. You got me excited, have man. Have a good night. All right. Have a this good night. Storm Lesson 331, signing out. He has the most unique goodbyes. Sorry about that. Just exiting Discord really quick. Yeah, I don't want to leave up Discord if it doesn't need to be. Like I said, once this uh, stack of glass is finished, I will dive out. But until then, I'm going to just... Stick around, putting up glass. Like, there's no reason not to finish off this stack, you know? Finish off this little bit of glass work, and then go. And I also need to remember to actually make my half-elf rogue. My half-elf noble rogue while I'm uh, still awake. If you're wondering, I'm also going to state, if you're wondering as to why, no, why this is getting enclosed, uh, so the reason as to why this is getting enclosed is because of the simple reason, oh my fuck, I actually did that twice. Okay, but yeah, the simple reason as to why the beds are getting enclosed, in case anything drops and spawns, you know, we don't want to uh, deal with that. It's easier to deal with. Um... <sighs> it's a lot easier to not have to replace villagers. So it's a lot easier to just fucking enclose these assholes. And if shit broken because of them being enclosed... Fuck it, we will deal with it afterwards, you know? We'll deal with, like, the fucking aftermath if we have to. But otherwise, we are going to enclose all of this shit just so that we don't have to fucking worry. Because I'm worried about, you know, we get mob spawn and... Suddenly, all our fucking village, you know, villager breeders broken. Why is villager breeder broken? Villagers are dead. I don't want to deal with that shit. Because then that means you have to take two villagers and throw them into the breeder to replace the other villagers that had died. I don't want to have to fucking do that shit. Because that shit is so fucking annoying having to do that. I was right. I was right that that stack would finish off all the coal in the furnace. Fuck. Alright. But yeah, I'd rather not have to replace villagers if I don't have to. So, you know, this is how shit gets done. 
so as not to have to replace villagers. It also happens to look good. That does help as well, is that this looks good. But yeah, I'm let those final four pieces smelt, and then we will finish this off after placing those pieces. It's sad I was not able to finish the bed enclosure. That sucks. Oh well. Look at that. Timed perfectly. After these four pieces, we'll finish this. Hmm. Okay. Uh, see, one, two, three, four, six. So, let's see, four, eight, twelve, fourteen, then two, two, so four, teen, four, eight, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 18 pieces of glass to finish off the bed enclosure. Shit. All right. That's that's a pain in the ass. Okay. Whatever. So we're going to need like two sacks of glass still. Got it. Yeah, whatever. All right. Well, everybody, it's time to... Uh... Sorry about that. I'm just closing out the game. It's time to end this stream. It was fun. We had a late night stream. Ah, damn it. Sorry about that. Uh, muted desktop audio via page up, which is my mute desktop audio key. And when you say, oh, press it on something, it pages. So, ah, fuck it. Whatever. It did a scene transition. All right. Well, socials are linked down below. I'll be uh, throwing this pod onto YouTube as well. You know, eventually, it will get unprivated on YouTube. Just take some time. All right. I will see all of you next stream, which should be back to Mass Effect. Keyword is should. All right. Have a good day, a good night, a good whatever. I will see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.